From the Security First Bank North Zone stage, it's time for Coach's Comments, presented by Southside Auto Tech. Cristiano Simonetto with you right now, joined alongside by Stars head coach Rocky Russo. And Rocky, a little more comfortable of a win for you guys. The heart racer last Friday night, Saturday night in overtime in Sioux City. It's a 5-2 win for your group. Let's talk about the first goal scored by Aiden Thompson. It's a shorthanded marker. He's got that breakaway, gets stopped, but he doesn't quit on the play. Lava over to LeMay, who makes a great backhanded pass for Aiden Thompson for his second of the year. It was a, it was a obviously great effort by Aiden, but to extend the offensive possession by, by Lobs and then just such a savvy play by, uh, by Joe and, uh, and a big finish by Aiden. That's our first shorthanded goal of the year, and, and uh, that's a great way to, to find our way into the first one. That's for sure. Michael Mastromenico, he was the first star tonight. He had two goals, and number four was big, whether it was in the defensive zone or the offensive zone. That second goal of the game, Glad Baremia makes an excellent power move, goes wide. Everybody in the building thinks he's going to wrap the puck around the net, makes a nice back pass, Mastro. Cap, uh, capitalizes for a big insurance marker. Well, the first goal was an absolute snipe. And then the second one is, you know, I just, I just told the guys how proud I was of Gleb for the way that he played tonight. He's really starting to understand how he needs to play and, and the identity that he has as a power forward. And, you know, he's able to make those, those pretty plays, but he's got to use his frame first. He's got to understand what his game's going to be predicated on as he goes from junior to, to college and ultimately on to the, to the pro level. But that power move enables you know, him to, to gain some space. The D turns their feet. The goalie turns his feet. And, and Mastro's doing a great job. He's not watching, right? He's engaged without the puck on his stick, and he's able to go to the front of the net. And there we go. How about that? He's able to go to the front of the net and capitalize on, on that and get us a huge goal there to make it 4-2. Cameron White had another win. He extends his unbeaten streak in regulation, 5-0-1. How far are you going to ride this kid right now? The 18-year-old looks unstoppable. No, we're not going to ride him much further because I got another unstoppable goalie ready to go in the net. But, you know, it was just one of those things where, where we went back-to-back -back with, uh, with Cameron last week, and, and he st stood up for that test. And we didn't play great on Saturday, and, and Cameron was a big reason why we won. And so... He got rewarded with that start again tonight, but it's really important that we get Caden back in the net, and so you'll see him in the net for one of the two games next week. Did you like your team's forecheck tonight? The third goal, a prime example. Pressuring and pressuring and pressuring Sioux Falls. They make an inopportune pass. It's Lucas Wallen. It's Aiden Thompson. And then they just what tap a, it. What a pretty little oh extra pass gosh. there. A tic-tac goal from 25 and white. You know, but that that's all done because Antonio comes all the way down and he extends that possession with the the good read, right? And that's a long way for a defenseman to come. But he comes all the way down and says, I, I can touch that puck first. And he's able to extend that possession, which ultimately leads to that goal. So he doesn't get a point on it, but, but he's a major reason why we're able to score that goal. Whether it's Fernandez, whether it's Henry Nelson, Joey Pierce is another guy I want to circle. Is your defensive core, you've talked about it a lot throughout this season, but it seems like they go up against any team in the Western Conference. Your decor has just been you know, standing amongst the best. I like our seven against anybody in this league. And, and you know, we got guys that, that, are, that are more offensive. We got guys that are more defensive. We got guys that do a little bit of both. But everybody's embracing what they do well. And, you know, there's nobody back there saying, I need more of this or I need more of that. There's everybody back there saying, we're, we're a seven-man crew and we're going to go out every night and we're going to do our jobs and we're going to give this team a chance to win. And so... You know, it's nice to see shift after shift after shift. And obviously with seven, you're not always playing with the same guy. But all seven guys are so comfortable with each other that it really doesn't matter. They're able to mix and match. They, they, they practice with each other throughout the week so that they're prepared to play with somebody different. And, uh, and no matter what it is, who, it doesn't matter which seven are out there. I'm, I'm very confident in all of them. Eight, three, and one. The Stars are currently sitting atop the Western Conference standings with 17 points. Eight, three, and one this season. Yeah, you guys can clap. For you, I know you don't like talking about yourself, but 8-3-1, and one, it's only game number 12, but you're starting to see something special being built here? Yeah, of course. It all starts with, with the guy's belief in the culture, right? And, and it's a coach's job when we come in on, on day one to instill that culture, but it's the player's job to make it come alive. And I tell them that every day. It's your responsibility to make this, this culture be accountable, and, and uh, we hold each other to the standards that we set, and we, we've – identified how we play and, and what brings us success, and then we live by that identity. And, and you see it when we play hard, 
we extend possessions. We, we are confident, right? That, that play by Antonio is such a great example of our guys being confident to go and touch the puck. And he knows I can go down there and touch it because my third high forward is going to cover for me. Right, and, and if we're not responsible and we don't know that we're going to be doing those things, then maybe he doesn't go down and do that. We don't extend that possession. We don't score that goal. But our guys have really bought into what we do here, and, and it's obviously a long process. We have a long, long way to go, but I'm really excited about where we are at this point in the season. Saturday off, Sunday off. What's uh, the Russo household look like over the weekend that you don't have? Oh, any H! To? I think that's the only time you're going to be booed right now when you're I know. You could boo me for that. It's fine. Listen, I've been a I've been a Cornhusker fan all year, and I told you guys when I came in here, I'll I'll root for the Cornhuskers every game of the year except for when they play the Buckeyes. And so the Buckeyes are in town tomorrow, and uh, my my uncles, my two uncles, and my cousin are in town, and and they come every year to visit. And uh, as soon as I got the job, I looked at the schedule and said. Hey, man, by the way, I'm off on Saturday, November 6th, when the Buckeyes are in town. So they were able to catch their first game in the ice box. It was a pretty awesome experience for them. We're going to go to the, uh, the Nebraska-Ohio uh, State game tomorrow, and then we're going to put a nice, uh, nice pot of sauce on on Sunday and some homemade meatballs and, and, uh, and do an, a, a traditional Russo-Italian Sunday afternoon. So cheers to that, huh? Rocky may be public enemy number one for his college football ties, but his team, number one in the Western Conference. Rocky, thank you so much for doing this. Thanks, Cristiano. That was Coach's comments live from the Security First Bank North Zone stage. Stars win 5-2 over the Sioux Falls Stampede. We'll see you next week. Stars taking on Des Moines on Friday night.